Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, it's been two weeks since Letitia's message. Uh, it's the harvest season and I haven't been able to do a video on it yet. I've been um, doing other things and but I have I have to do a video on it. I've um, been meaning to do it for a, for, a, for a week or so but now we're here. Now I want to do it and I just want to talk to you a little bit about how God spoke to me through it. And I hope that it encourages you or maybe makes you think about things um, in a different way. Uh, and one of the things that it kind of pulled um, out for me and I was ministered to through was regarding forgiveness. And um, if you can't quite remember the message, go, go back and listen to it properly. But the thing that stood out for me the most was about how we can be in moments where we enable the seed of doubt, discouragement, temptation, whatever it might be to be planted by the enemy and usually that that seed can be planted in a season where you're not feeling too bad you're not feeling too 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 um too bad about your faith maybe you're doing some good things maybe you're really being used by god but you've also opened a door for the enemy to plant a seed and you don't really know that that seed's been planted until you get a bit further down the road and something happens and suddenly like this thing is starting to grow it's starting to grow out of um proportion and, and what what Letitia was saying was the scripture shows us that these things do grow up where the good seed and the bad seed grow up together and you can't just rip it out the bad seed you've got to let it grow together and then at the right time of the harvest you put you get to put it out and she was saying now's the time to rip out God was saying now's the time to rip out the 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 both the good and the bad um at together and you can reap the good and you can throw the bad away and and that was that was what the point of the message was but what people don't know is previous to this week, I was chatting to Claire and I was saying to her, I really feel like God's been challenging me and showing me some stuff to do with me um, regarding um, forgiveness. And so regarding forgiveness for me, I think personally, I don't struggle with forgiving people for what they've done to me. Like, you know, like the, the thing on the surface, whatever it might be, because when I kn knew I needed Jesus, and I knew that the only way for me to even acknowledge that I needed Jesus was that I knew I needed forgiving. I knew that I was a sinner. I knew that I fall short. And I knew that actually the standard for me to be forgiven is is the same standard I set f um, by the way I forgive. That That's what the Lord's Prayer is. Forgive us as, as we forgive others. We're giving God permission to forgive others in the same way, to forgive us in the same way we forgive others. So kind of when I started to understand that, in life i just thought well i don't want anything to get in the way of my relationship with god and usually if we need to forgive it's because someone's done something to us hurt us whatever it might be and and, and usually that's something that hangs over us because we struggle to forgive but then it's like almost like they're double doubly are in control of your life because by not being able to forgive they're now controlling your relationship with god so i've always kind of got this point of like nah someone's done something to me they've said something to me whatever it might be they've tried to destroy me or hurt me or whatever but reality is it doesn't matter i can forgive and move on because i don't i'm not gonna have them in my life i don't have to hang around with them but i do need to let it go because that way it doesn't put a barrier between me and god that's that's how i've always seen forgiveness so i was kind of like thinking about some things that have been going on in my life particularly this year but probably stuff over over a time but particularly this year where you know where things can happen to you people can do stuff to you and you kind of can get to a place where you're like yeah, I can forgive and move on. And I feel like I've done that. I've done that process. But then God was showing me like layers to forgiveness, layers to our pain. And one of the things I, I kind of realized was that actually, I, when people hurt us or when people do something to us to, to try and discourage us or destroy us, particularly probably in our faith, but um, can be in life. Um, some people have got backgrounds where they were in abusive relationships and things like that. It's not just the act of what they've done to you. It's it's kind of the consequences of, of who you are after the fact. And I wasn't, I haven't really thought about like the effects of how somebody impacting you or hurting you or, or doing something to you can actually still constitute not forgiving if you know that something's been lost. And, um, and so I was chatting to Claire about this and I was thinking, I've got to do a message. I think I need to do a message and I'm going to do it. I was going to do it the Sunday just gone. And I feel like the message is going to be about how, yeah, we can forgive and we understand that forgiveness and we understand that on the surface we can forgive. But actually, is there layers to 
to what people have done to us that actually somebody's done something and the consequences of that have caused you to not be the person that you believe you should be the person that god's created you to be and a little bit of you in in the eyes of god or the way that you think god wants you to be has died and that almost for me i started realizing like i don't know if i can forgive the people for what they've done what they've done in in taking away something from me and i started to feel like oh wow i need to forgive i need to forgive for something i didn't realize i needed to forget to forgive because i feel like i lost a little bit of me i feel like maybe you know some energy has been taken enthusiasm uh, a bit of who you think you are has been taken away from you and you and you start to get like bitter about it or you start to feel like oh man i'm never going to get back to that place again with god because these people have robbed me of it and then that to me was like I, I don't know if i can forgive that i don't think i don't forgive what they did but i can't forgive the consequence of it and it started to kind of go around my head and i thought man if this is what i feel then maybe there must be other people that might feel the same and maybe it needs just to be unpacked and explained and maybe i've not explained that very well but i hope hope that's made sense but it just to me it was like oh yeah i've i've got layers in the sense like damage has been caused people have the enemy is out there to, to to kill and destroy you he's out there to completely devour you so when the enemy comes whether it's through people or through situations it's never going to be nice like you can repel it you can push it back you you can forgive you know all these different things can go on but the, the aftermath of the of the battle is still going to ex exist and it, sometimes that's what takes longer to get over and um, as I was just breaking it down, I started to feel sorry for myself. I started to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get back to the person I was. These people have robbed me of that. And all these different things were going on in my head. And then um, and then I just remembered that actually I need to, I need God to help me forgive. And I need to forgive because I need to, I want to, I want to be the person that God's called me to. And I also realized, especially as I was chatting to Claire, people or situations they haven't robbed me of anything they, they have no power to steal anything from me or take anything from me um i can only give it to them and um and actually they haven't taken it i've just i've just um i've kind of almost like allowed it to just go or i've allowed it to a piece of me to just fall away and it's my responsibility to get that back it's my responsibility to fight for that and to almost like reclaim and say, nah, nah, that's not, I'm going to be the person God's called me to be. And I'm going to fight and I'm going to, I'm not going to lose that part of my personality that, or, or whatever it is that I felt that God wanted me to do. So as I was um, chatting to Claire about this, I said, I think I need to do this sermon. I think I might do it this weekend, which is the one just gone. We then got to Letitia's message and I couldn't have put it any better. What Letitia brought was pretty much probably even articulated even better than what I could have done and probably haven't even articulated very well in this video but it got to that point where I was like this message isn't for me to bring to somebody or others this message is for me and I knew that I was like wow I didn't need to preach it so I could learn it and receive it God had already lined up Letitia which if you hear at the beginning of the message she was talking about how she wasn't really getting the message until later and I know it and I knew if I was able to bring this message in the way I felt, I knew that it would a lot of people would respond to it because maybe it's something that they've never really thought of about a seed being planted, kind of almost below the surface of the stuff that sometimes you can handle, but the stuff you don't see. And that's what it felt like to me, is like there's stuff I didn't see. And I've allowed it to take root. I've allowed things that I don't want to exist to exist, feelings to, that, that I don't want to exist to exist. And it started to, kind of play on me and started to get really to me. It started to make me feel like maybe I'm not the person God's called. Maybe I, maybe my time's up. Like maybe it's time to move, you know, move on. Maybe God's got a different plan. Like all these things, because that's what doubt does. That's what bitterness does. That's what discouragement does. But really the truth was, is it was just let, about letting go. It's just about letting go. So when I heard Letitia's message, I thought this is for me. I was smiling all the way through it because it was almost like I knew that God was speaking to me, but also it was brought in such a good way for, for me to receive. So big thank you to Letitia for doing that and to being obedient to God. And at the end of it, I was able to go up and get prayer from, from people for that and just to let go, to forgive, but also just to move on, to, to claim back some of the things I felt were robbed. And I just felt like, now I want to get that back. I, I want, 
I don't want that to die. I don't want, I don't, it's not really on anyone that's taken it. I, I, don't, I don't even get to blame those people. It's my responsibility to keep it or my responsibility to get it back. And so I kind of like um, got people to pray for me for that. So I just want to encourage you. If you're watching right now, I just want to say to you, maybe there's layers in your in in situations where people have hurt you caused pain damaged you different things you know that could have gone on in your life but at the at the core of it is like you've been able to be like oh i've let them go i forget it i've moved on but actually the pain of what was caused through it is still hurting you there's still things that are affecting you maybe if there's a little bit of who you were has been lost in it and i really feel like god is saying that's that seed that's planted that wasn't seen but is now impacting you now and like Letitia said, now's the time of the harvest. Now is the, that season. So now it's time to kind of take up the that root up that and cast it out now and get rid of it because it doesn't need to exist anymore. It doesn't need to be there anymore and actually to be free of it. And and uh, yeah, so I pray that if anyone's watching this right now, that that this might be a message for you, that this might just be something that can unlock or kind of add on or really, really recommend you go and listen to the whole of Letitia's message. But but just do, do do business with God. Forgive, let go. Um, ask uh, ask God to come in and, and just heal and restore what you think maybe has been taken. And actually what's been robbed of you or what you feel is missing or whatever you think it might be to kind of just ask God to fill that back in. To just say, God, I need my joy back. Lord, I want my passion back. Lord, Lord, they took something of me and I just just feel like I need my peace. You know, I just need that. And it, whatever it might be that you think has been robbed, just to say, God, just can you just pour that back into me? Because I feel like I'm struggling. I'm not operating the way that I, I, I feel like I should. I'm not really being the person of God that you want me to be. But I feel like it's because I'm blaming someone else for taking it from me. But really, we need to forgive. And then we need to kind of, we need to kind of just say to God, I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. Help me take it back. Put it back in. Um, so yeah, thank you to Letitia for that message. Really, really encouraging. Challenged me. Needed to hear it. Spoke to me massively, on point and on time for me. And I, I prayed it was for others. Um, and I pray that this little message as well is just helped to, just maybe stir something within you guys that maybe you weren't thinking of before because I never really looked at it like that. Like I can forgive on the surface, but what have they done under the, under the surface? And and actually, um, that I don't really recognise or or see, but now it's impacting me, and um and that's what I had to let go of. That's what I had to release and forgive and and just and when you do that, then God moves in. God forgives you. You get peace, and you're actually able to start operating and moving in the things that God's got for you, being the person that God's called you to be. So, bless you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh. See you soon. Sun is shining.